Hey, this is Matt Reisinger of the Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm here at the Marvin Window Planning Center in Austin, and I wanted to give you a quick summary of the four window types that are out there. I'm talking specifically today about frames. The low cost leader in the market, and by far the best seller in America, is a vinyl window. Here's a cross section of a vinyl window right here. I don't like vinyl windows uh, for several reasons, but one of the things I don't like is the aesthetics of them. If you look at this corner, it's a welded corner. They actually, when they slice these with a miter, they heat them up and then they push them together. And you get these, these corners that really don't look that great. Vinyl, of course, is also not very paintable. So if you decide you don't like your frame color in the future, it's, it's, you're kind of stuck with that for the life of the product. The other thing I don't like about vinyl is it's not as strong as the other frame types, which could be an issue here in the heat of Texas. I'm not a huge vinyl fan, but they do actually give fairly good performance when it comes to the numbers on paper. The next step up from vinyl, um, which I think is really the best value out of the marketplace today, is one of these. This is actually a Marvin Integrity. This is a fiberglass window. This is their all Altrex line, so this is a full fiberglass window. You can see the frames are a little bit thinner, a little crisper details with these. You don't have those ugly corners on the welds because um, they're really cutting and fastening the uh, the fiberglass and Marvin's competitor in this marketplace is the Anderson 100 series. This is a composite window frame right here so it actually does have some vinyl in it but it's, it's mixed with uh, wood fibers so it ends up with a product that's similar to like a Trex deck. Not quite, as, um, not quite as strong as fiberglass, but still a really good choice. And then Marvin makes an integrity line that's meant to compete with the more expensive wood windows where it's a fiberglass frame, but they're actually cladding the inside with wood. So you get a really pretty window that looks like a very traditional window on the, on the inside, but you still have that impervious fiberglass frame and a little bit lower price point as well. There's two different types of aluminum windows that you can buy. There's kind of lower cost aluminum, and then of course you can spend a lot of money on some aluminum windows. But no matter which aluminum you're thinking about, you really want to get a thermally broken. Don't even consider aluminum if you can't find one that doesn't have this thermal break right here. That little plastic spacer that's in there, some type of composite material that's in there, I don't know exactly, but it's a plastic. It's separating the outside aluminum from the inside aluminum. And what that's doing is, of course, aluminum is a great conductor of uh, heat and electricity it's used for wiring so that spacer is keeping the two layers of aluminum away from each other so you can get some okay performance thermally from these not as good as some of the others but okay and then lastly is a wood window I love wood windows I've used a lot of Marvin windows in my houses in the past there's some other good brands out there as well but a modern wood window has things done a little bit differently from construction of a, a last from your grandfather's wood window let's say so look at this cross section of this Marvin. We've got a wood frame on here. So the inside is very traditional, very pretty wood. But look at the outside. It's been, um, it's been bonded to an aluminum outside skin. And that aluminum is typically either powder coated or painted. So we've got a finish on the outside here that's been factory finished basically. It's gonna last almost forever. This is a really good product. And of course has great thermal performance. It's probably, besides some of the high-end aluminum, it's probably the, the most expensive window you're gonna find out there as well. If you're considering windows though, and you're in Texas, the, the number one thing you need to make sure you're doing, no matter which brand you end up buying from, is specifying Cardinal Low E 366 glass. There are some manufacturers that use that and call it something else, like Anderson calls it Smart Sun, but it's pretty much all the same glass. Almost every manufacturer of windows in America is using Cardinal glass. Low E366 has the lowest SHGC um, that you can find out there in today's marketplace. And you want to try and get that filled with argon in between your panes as well. Thanks for joining me, everybody. If you've got questions, post a comment here in the, uh, in the bottom. And if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about U-Factor and the SHGC, I'll post a link up here that has another video that will tell you a little bit more about those. We'll see you next time.